Here is the latest Africa news update. Rwanda now using high-tech robots in the fight against COVID-19. Five humanoid robots have been delivered to Rwanda where they will assist coronavirus screening, delivery of food and drugs to patients, as well as act as video conferencing links between the patients and the doctors. So if somebody ever comes and has an abnormal temperature, he notifies them, tells them where to go, and also alerts the command center. So what's, what would be the threshold that would be? So the, the RBC and Ministry of Health um, have uh, an official threshold. Each robot has been given a Rwanda name, namely Akazuba, Ikizere, Mwiza, Gambo, and Urumuri. Their main purpose is to reduce health workers' exposure to COVID-19 patients while taking care of them, Rwandan Health Minister Daniel Ngaminji said. The robots are capable of screening 50 to 150 patients per minute, recording and storing the patient's data, alerting health workers to abnormalities, warning people who aren't wearing masks or wearing masks improperly. These robots will help us to reduce the risk of contamination of our health staff, which is a key achievement because one of the challenges we are facing worldwide is a rate of infection of health professionals while treating people suffering of COVID. So any opportunity of reducing contact of health professionals with patients who are sick, it's still a way of reducing the risk of being infected. They might go there essentially for treating, but for other duties, these machines, these robots will help enough to reduce the risk of contamination. Rwanda currently has 297 confirmed COVID-19 cases in the country with 203 recoveries and amazingly no death till now. But if you're Rwandan, this is no surprise as Rwandan health system is among the best in Africa, even bringing to shame the likes of the United States. If you like informative and educational videos on Africa, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.